My name is uh, Tarik Demirovic and uh, I come from uh, Bosnia Herzegovina, from a city called Mostar. And now I live in Oslo, in Norway. Well, it was uh, two years in war. Uh, there, it was heavy bombarding of the city. So Mostar has been really crushed. Almost 80% of the city has been demolished. Uh, the most the eyes of the people, you know, in the in the beginning, like I tell before in the beginning you see people are afraid and after that apathy they don't care of their life you know I, I remember myself that I'm sitting in cafe bar meeting the war and drinking coffee and start shelling you know just in other part of city I don't move it's apathy you don't care because just granites are 200 meters, not where you are sitting. When the soldiers come, why I leave Mostar, it's uh, it's very difficult to, to, to leave your hometown. It's very difficult to leave the place which you like, and which, where your family lives. But when the sol soldiers come in your apartment, and uh, then it's over, then do you don't have a choice. You see, uh, there is really a question about life and that. Then you must to make decision what to do. My decision had been to become a refugee, to go outside. Not because I won't, but the situation when you have somebody come inside this room and tell you you have 24 hours. That's it. That happens to me and to my family. It's not just my family, you know. From Mostar has been 30,000 refugees. You are wrong nationality, you are in wrong place, in the wrong time. Almost Six months, I'm telling to myself, no, 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 no. I, I, I just wake up and this is not happening here. Come on, we are middle in Europe. It's not happening here. But uh, it was not a dream. And when man wake up, it's, it, it, it hurts. But somebody before the war tells me, will live in Norway. I will tell to them, you are crazy, come on, Norway. I come to the city where light wakes you up. I come from the city where, where temperature is 21 degrees in the air and come to this country. But life is like that. I am so privileged that I live in this country. I. I I meet my wife in this country. I have my life in this country right now. I, I tell to people I have been born th three times, but in, uh, in uh, each of, uh, of, uh, of, of this birth, I've been richer and richer for new culture, new language, new people.